Hi YouTubers I'm Muhammad Asif Azimi from mobilerepairingonline.com In this video tutorial we tried understanding how to check short circuit and repair it on all mobile phone with multimeter If you want to learn smartphone repairing and become smartphone repairing technician then hit red subscribe button and bell icon you're the first to know when I upload anything new all mobile phones PCB short finding method is the same. You can use digital analog multimeter both to find the shortage in smartphone motherboards. Remember, DC power supply can't detect very small shorts on the motherboard which causes some faults on mobile phones. To find where or which part of the smartphone is really short is best to use a multimeter. Now finally, how to check the short circuit with a multimeter in mobile phone PCB. Step 1 set multimeter on continuity buzzer. If you have analog multimeter, you can set on X1 ohms. Multimeter, whether digital or analog has two wires, also called probes, a red and a black wire. The red probe is positive, while the black probe is negative. Step 2, connect the red probe to circuit's battery connector plus. And black probe to minus meter shows no reading. Step 3, now check opposite, connect the red probe to battery connector minus and black probe to plus multimeter shows some reading. Usually, digital multimeter shows 300 to 600. Note, if multimeter shows reading both sides on the battery connector of the mobile phone PCB it means the circuit has shortage. Before I tell you how to remove and repair mobile phone PCB, let me tell you first, what is shorting in mobile phone PCB. As you know, mobile phone PCB is made up of several copper wires layers. This leads to different external and internal tracks. In mobile phone PCB, there is tape print instead of copper wires through which DC current flows. Hence, I use the term prints instead of copper wires. Due to water damage in mobile phone PCB, these tracks get overheating and joined together, which is called short track or shortage. If these parallel separate positive and negative prints touch each other on mobile phone PCB, the PCB show short circuit reading on multimeter. Sometimes mobile phone falls to the ground these tracks are open, which are called open track. If a mobile phone print is broken, then it is said that the print is open. In mobile phones and smartphones, the most common cause of a short circuit is water damage. Water droplets create a less resistive path between tracks and the DC current never reaches its destination on the mobile phone PCB. That's why short circuit mobile phone does the following problems. Number 1, when you switch on the smartphone, it goes switch off automatically after a few minutes. Number 2, the phone goes completely dead. The phone goes hot and get hanged. Number 4, the phone battery goes drains and discharges fast if phone half shorting. Now you have a question. What is half shorting? In half shorting fault on the mobile phone PCB, the PCB starts taking more amperes from the battery. That's why battery gets start to swell and run less on the phone. Sometimes, the mobile phone gets dead due to half-shorting. This means that there is some dry solder on the PCB of the phone, or some small component on a PCB is faulty, and need to be checked, removed, and replaced with a new one with the help of multimeter. In many cases of half-shorting mobile phones, I found shorting on SMD capacitors near power IC and diode resistance near the battery connector. I repaired lots of mobile phones in half-shorting fault by removing their charging jack and charging IC. I hope now, you understand, what is mobile phone shorting, and, half shorting, now it's time to talk to you. What is full shorting? Full shorting of a mobile phone PCB is the condition, when a phone bone gets switched on, either you try with a, new LCD panel in the smartphone, or connect it with, DC power supply. It shows, zero reading, on the DC power supply, this means phone PCB is dead. Commonly rare cases, that I face, in my mobile repairing career. One or more, major electronic component and ICs get dead, in full shorting fault. Full shorting can come from any SMD component of a mobile phone PCB, such as polar capacitor, non-polar capacitor, power IC, charging IC, PA booster, CPU IC, etc. The PCB needs to be checked thoroughly to fix the problem in any feature and smartphones. Now you have a deep understanding of shortage, half shorting, and full shorting. We move on to this video main topic on how to check and repair shorting in mobile phone PCB. How to check half shorting with digital multimeter. Keep the digital multimeter on buzzer mode. Again in this testing method, place the multimeter probes on mobile PCB battery connector. 
red probe on positive and black probe on negative if the reading value on the multimeter is 1 then the PCB is ok. And if the reading value is 237 then check the battery connector in reverse red probe on negative and black probe on positive. If in reverse checking value is 237 then there is half shorting. The point I want to clear to you is if the value is same in both forward and reverse checking then there is half shorting in the mobile phone PCB. Yes is it possible to repair phone half shorting PCB. Disassemble your Android phone and get out the shorting phone PCB from phone casing. Clean the entire PCB thoroughly with any circuit cleaner like CTC, Philips contact cleaner spray, alcohol or patrol. Now dry it completely. You can use a table lamp or rework station to dry it. Assemble back the phone and switch it on, see if half shorting removed or not. In most cases, the problem gets solved. But if there is still half shorting, then check for small non-polar capacitors near the battery connector and power IC. Then remove the faulty one. In full shorting testing, keep the digital multimeter on buzzer mode and take the phone board, both sides, readings. If there is beep sound in both forward and reverse testing, then there is full shorting in the phone board. In the case of full shorting, you have to clean the phone board deeper. Used Elmer liquid. Smartphone repair technicians in Eastern Europe countries, uses it. Leave the phone board in Elmer for 1 to 2 hours, then clean it with the help of toothbrush or anti-static ESD brush. Then dry the phone board completely, with the help of cotton or ultrasonic cleaner machine. Then check the phone board again, with the multimeter, to see it as full shorting or not. Now connect the phone to, DC power supply, or phone battery, and, try to switch on the smartphone, it won't switch on, but wait for a few seconds. Now it's time for you to find, the faulty components on the phone board. The faulty components will get heated automatically. You can feel the heat of the faulty component with your fingers, this component, or IC, needs to be replaced. Don't forget to, remember, to give this, video, like, share, and comment below what you like the most about it. Thanks for watching this video.